Duelists, it is I, Hell Gear. Let's crack open some maximum gold. I normally don't get a vault, which is what I'm calling this wonderful big box here, but it it balances out pack wise. Be sure to support your local card shops, just like I did. Cards and comics. Thank you for the sweet, sweet vault action here. Ooh, this is my first time doing one of these. Alrighty then, so. For those of you who don't know, when you get a vault, you get five of these bad boys. So, let's just... Ooh! One, two, three, four, and five. So, just to give you the general Alrighty, so there are seven cards in here and it introduces two new rare types. We have the gold letter rare, which is similar to the regular rares, which were silver letters, but they're gold letters. And then we have the premium gold, super pop out, fantastic <laughs> rares here. All right, let's crack open this first. Oh, so much plastic to open. There's four packs in each one and there are two premium gold rares per pack. So when you get the five, if you can swing it, you're essentially going to be getting eight of them per one of these. All right. Open from the side then. Sure. Of course, I'm opening it wrong. Wow. The hardest part of opening a vault is <laughs> the, the, yes, the hardest part of opening a vault. Supposed to open, oh. Look at me brain farting so hard on this. There's tape right there, goodness sake. Alrighty, let's do this the proper way. There we go. Oh man, I can't believe it took me that long just to open the first one. So, two packs there. And two packs here. Now that we got the first first box opened up, let's see what we get. Good lord. There's so much packaging. <clears throat> so here we go. Extra Foolish Burial. Noble Knight Brothers. Don't think that's going to be in our uh, Infra Noble decks. Look at that Rhoda. Look at that beautiful, beautiful Rhoda. This is the creamy gold stuff. And we got the Brick House. Oh, they're next to each other? That's not how they were in the European packs. Mecha Phantom Beast. Gotta love that. And... Another noble knight. So, say for that. All right, next pack. Pretty good. Chaos One Hundred One, Silent Honor, Dark, Union Scramble. Solemn Judgment. Very nice. Silent Angler. That's a good card for the uh, Plunder Patrol. Alrighty. Put that there. And Cyber Dragon Infinity. Look at how great that looks. That looks amazing. Alrighty. That's it for...
Family is loud sometimes. What can you do, right? Uh, excuse me. families ladies and gentlemen black families <laughs> we have no idea what volume is so look at that barrier statue of the heavens another rota and ooh reaper and cherries anyone still use this hand trap storming mirror force and Buffalo Fire Fist, brother. All right. Last one of this box. I'm definitely going to be opening up the remaining boxes a lot faster than this. Mech Knight Morning Star, Gear Gigan X, very nice. Lancia, some duelists still use this in their side decks. Got a Foolish and another Brick House. And that wraps up the premies of this first box Barrier Statue of the Abyss. All right, one down. Now the next one. Hey, can you allow people to turn that down? Okay. Take the plastic off of box number two. This time, now that we know the name of the game, There we go. Box number two. All righty. Here we go. Yeah. Here you are. Well, white prints, because the white deck is getting more support come next set. Huh. Harpies, pet, phantasmal dragons in the air? Interesting. More noble knights and Cosmo, because people want Cosmo decks. And Chalkanine, because why not? Zoo did win PPGs recently. Circle of the Fire Kings and Dark World. That's interesting. All right. Next pack. Ah. Uh. Look, it's the other Buster Blader. I think this took third recently in the PPGs. First Monarch. There's our Stratos. Very nice. Put that in the book. Utopia Beyond. And Cosmotown. Don't take me there. Tuning and Sacred Swords of Seven Stars for more Noble Knight support. Because why not? Alright, that's the first half of that one. Get that there. Next pack. Where are the other dragon maids, man? Where the kitchen and the nurse? Mm 
that's what I'm looking forward to getting. Dragon's Mirror. Gotta love that. Gotta love a drowning mirror force. All right, Parlor Maid. Hello, Toru. That's all I need of that. And Team Samurai X is MVP, miscellaneous source. Set rotation and another Lady Debug. Very nice. Okay, Flame Buffalo, Queen of the Night, I wonder if you can use this in a Rika deck, another Solemn, Trick Stars are dead, we know that, Machine Dupe is great, Alternate Altero Guide, and Hey True Nate, to wrap up box number two. Alright. Third box. Third box. Let's open it up. Oh, the plastic. All of this plastic. All of this wonderful plastic. All right. Here we go. Major Blood 12 is happy about that Call of Duty Cold War action. Man, well look at this. Another Cosmo ship and another Miscellaneous Aurus. Team Samurai X must be having a field day with this. I'll find out when I watch his openings of this stuff later. Remember to like, comment, sub, and bell if you like what you see. And let me know in the comment section which cards you're most excited to get from the Maximum Gold? There we go. Dark Lord of Shell is nice. There's one of the cards I needed. Harpy's Feather Duster. Looking pretty good. Dupe. Ash Blossom. The, the, the art that everybody likes. And those are the deep. Next pack. <laughs> Next pack. Alrighty. Had to make sure everything was there. Gotta admit, the, the Harpy's Feather Duster is nice. I thought it would be the other art. Maybe I'll get one of the other art. Duplicate arts and alternate arts are getting this sweet, sweet treatment. And I need to adjust my gloves. Uh, you got to take care when handling gold. <laughs> so extra protection is needed. All right. Another extra foolish burial. Another strato boy. Well, okay. Barriers after the drought looking really nice. Madolci Chateau and regular Polly. Okay. Polly looks weird. Prime Monarch is nice. Polly looks weird in this. Alrighty. Good. And Link Rebo. You can always use those. Especially if you have level ones. Like the white deck. Ah, 
I want to build the white deck pro the do the white deck profile for you guys, and that's white spelled W I G H T. I'm not being racist here. I would like to build the white deck, but I want to get all of the cards in the extra deck. There's Ghost Ogre. And a Transco Talker for the Salaman Great Budget decks. Lose a turn. Do people still play this? This was a poor choice of card right here. Elder Entity Oonts. And Speedroid Red Eye Dice. Oh. Um. Oh, I put them all on one side. Oh. Oh, well. Three-fifths of the way through. Three-fifths of the way through. Yeah, you in there, blah, 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 blah. Okay, box number four. Very disappointed I haven't picked up a single kitchen or nurse dragon maid, and I would like to get two of those. Seriously, Konami, if you guys short printed the Dragon Maids again, that would look real bad on you. I mean, come on. $40, man, for, for the copies of Kitchen? That's insane. Let's open from this side this time. Alrighty. Here we go. Come on, main deck dragon made waifus. <laughs> Lost World. More Team Samurai X love there. Uh, Union Hanger for Alphabet Combo. Noble Knights. These are on the wrong side. There. A third Cosmo Dark Destroyer. Nobody is going to play this deck until it gets better support. Okay. Droll and Lockbird. This is my first time getting this hand trap. And I know a deck that calls... And I have a deck that calls for two of those. Hey, Trude. Alright. The European case ratios were even and no short prints, so... I guess the short prints are going to be on the American side. Well, now, Boral Sword Dragon. Hello. You wonderful thing. Good lord. All right. Trap Tricks Mantis, more Trick Star, and Kagari. Sure. I could use that in a Sky Striker deck. Oh, another Link Rebo. Be on the lookout for factory errors of this stuff, too. I know there have been some duelists that have been reporting factory errors on these cards. So, keep that in mind. Alright. Well, at least I got a Boral Sword out of this, which is great. Alrighty. Night Beam, which is spell speed four. Another White Prince. Shared Ride. Monarchs Erupt. Well, <laughs> Thanos Dragon in his alternate art. Very nice. Very nice for Phantasme. And Joey's Red Eyes Black Dragon with the name set out. Thank you, Legendary Duelist Season 1, for correcting this. Circle of Fire Kings. Alright. Coming to the end of pack... Er, the end pack of box number four. There can be only one? Is that... Oh my goodness, it really is. There can be only one. Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion. This must be the alternate art. Or is this the original? I don't remember. I think this is the art that came in Dual Devastator. <sighs> Alright. 
that is a good thing to see not gonna lie that's a good thing to see this is my third copy of this but my first copy of this hello Yuto Yuto your deck man and another graph and set rotation well Definitely haven't been getting the other dragon maids that are expensive as hell, but uh, Phantasme and Totally Awesome are some solid, solid gets as we move into our final box of this vault. Really hope you guys have been enjoying the opening. put all these packs away. Alrighty. Final box of the vault. Gotta love that. Good luck to everybody on the on the new Call of Duty playing all night long. Maybe I'll catch some late night streams on Twitch. We will see. We will see. All right, opening from the right side has been rather fortuitous, so let's do it again. All right, final four packs of the opening. And another first Monarch. Because it won the remote dual tournament. Even though it's still bricky as hell. Another artifact, Lancia. And Dark Rebellion Exceeds Dragon for the second one. Up, oh, seen that. Ah. And some more Dark Lord action. Oh, this is so heartbreaking. No kitchen, no nurse. None. So heartbreaking. Well, Call by the Grave gets its nice gold upgrade. That's, that's a good thing to see. Scrap Recycler for the budget Orcus decks. Another Machine Dupe. Another Tranny. This is like my fourth Cosmo. Are you serious? Well, another chalk and nine. And pre preparation of rites. Oh, uh, what rituals got support recently? Oh, that's right. Necro. No, not Necros. Nephthys. Necros is getting support in Selection 10, though. I know everybody is. It, and the, the new uh, Necro support looks pretty clean. Alrighty. Seriously though, could I get at least one kitchen and one nurse? One kitchen, one nurse, please. Okay. Go, 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 Gigas. Because the Automatopoeia deck and another tour guide. Okay. Lose a turn, Earth Barrier Statue, and two tour guides in one box. And Super Robot Galaxy Destroyer. Is this a part of Kite's deck? I don't know. Final pack. Two last chances to get the hardest Dragon Maid waifus, the most expensive of Miss Kobayashi's deck. Alrighty then. Here we go. Union Hanger. Magical Meltdown. See, now if Invocation was in this, a lot of people wouldn't be too mad. Oh, there goes the Brick House. No, it's Unts. Mm, really. And Miscellaneous Saurus. So, busted out on the Dragon Waifus there. 
Mecha Phantom Beast Coldwing. Oh well. Didn't get the sweet, sweet Dragon Maid love, but got some rather choice cards. Got a Boral Sword, got a Totally Awesome, got a Thanos. So, decent vault so far. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, like, comment, sub, and bell for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content. This has been a very fun experience, but for now, I take my cards to the box because I'm done. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.